everyone, Gigi here with Spirit Readings, and I want to say hello and welcome. I'm so glad that you can join me here today. Um, this is going to be the Solar Plexus Chakra Long Distance Reiki Session. Um, yes, we are shifting focus now to our solar plexus chakra this week. Uh, last week we did the sacral chakra and the week before we did the root chakra. So, you know, first I want to get myself balanced, okay? So I'm just going to rub my hands together here. You know, you can kind of, you feel the vibrations, you feel a pull. You guys, I'm going to place that right on my solar plexus here. I ask that my solar plexus chakra be opened so that I may speak of these visions, impressions, guidance, and truth with confidence and without the fear of being wrong. Yes. Okay. Got my, got my inner fire going here, you guys. So, um, some good crystals for the solar plexus chakra are tiger's eye, yellow calcite, golden mookite, pyrite, citrine, which I have right here. Citrine happens to be one of my favorites, you guys. Um, it actually came through as my crystal that I should work with on a regular basis when I did the um, finding your animal spirit guide. Um, this this crystal tabby cat was my animal spirit guide and citrine was the crystal that I should work with. So I have that right there. Don't know if you can see that or not. Oh, nope, it's a little bit off camera, so I'll place it right there so you can see it. Okay, golden quartz and rutilated quartz, you know, so while you're doing this, you know, you could hold one of these and you could hold it to the solar plexus chakra. Um, if you have clear quartz, that's perfectly okay. You know, it takes the place of any other crystal, you guys. Um, I'm going to have my citrine and my clear quartz by me, but I will be using my solar plexus Reiki set here from the solar plexus chakra. I feel like I'm getting tongue tied, you guys. Um, some good foods to offer nourishment to your solar plexus are corn, pineapple, squash, yellow peppers, banana, beans and brown rice, you know, your yellow foods, you guys. Some um, incense and herbs are ginger, fennel, uh, chamomile, rosemary, lemongrass, slippery elm, lemon balm, and turmeric. And, you know, um, on Amazon, they have the um, chakra incense kits that you can get and I love those. I had a set and I've already used them all. <laughs> but those are nice and you know each one, you know, there's there's seven different sleeves inside the one box and you know you just look on there and you find you know okay I want to work with my solar plexus you know so all right you guys let's get ourselves calm and centered. I always like to warm my hands up a little bit here. It's a cold day here in Oklahoma today. Chilly willy. And you know, like I said, you can pull and feel, you know, that energy. My hands are tingling. And you know, you may feel your solar plexus start to tingle. You may feel vibrations, whatever you're using. Um, you know, you may feel it warm up. You may feel it start to vibrate. Um, and you know, if all you have is yourself and your intentions, that's good enough, you guys. You are absolutely 100% good enough just as you are without any of the bells and whistles, okay? So, um, you know, I was able to purchase this set because of donations, because of readings that were coming in, you guys. You know, 
Um, when all I had was myself and my intentions, that is what I used. When all I had was a clear quartz, that is what I used. And then, you know, I've used my citrine here a lot, and I really love citrine. Can't say enough about citrine. All right, so I'm going to place this on my solar plexus here now. And we're going to take some deep breaths to calm and center ourselves in between each time that we say this. And I will link this below in case you would like to write it down um, so you have it. And when you release, you guys, fully release. If it wants to come out as a sigh, let it come out as a sigh. If it wants to come out as a scream, let it come out as a scream, you know, just fully release you guys, okay? I am receptive to divine energy moving into every cell of my body. I am committed to expressing my creativity, to accepting my responsibilities, and to making decisions that are balanced and supportive to my spiritual growth. I am guided and receptive to divine will at all times. Yes, you guys. And, you know, take your time with this. You do not have to rush, you know, just do what feels most natural to you. Just let it flow. I am receptive to divine energy moving into every cell of my body. I am committed to expressing my creativity, to accepting my responsibilities, and to making decisions that are balanced and supportive to my spiritual growth. I am guided and receptive to divine will at all times. I am receptive to divine energy moving into every cell of my body. I am committed to expressing my creativity, to accepting my responsibilities, and to making decisions that are balanced and supportive to my spiritual growth. I am guided and receptive to divine will at all times. Yes, you guys. Wow, you know, I'm starting to feel some joy bubble up within me there like, and you know what, if you need to laugh, go ahead, you guys. Laughter is a great medicine. You know, it, it, it helps us to release, you know, um, some of the joy. And we send that out into the universe there. So, you know, go with the natural flow of things, you guys. Go with what you are being led and guided with here. Um, I hope that you all have an amazing day next Saturday. I plan to do the heart chakra. And then after that, there will be three left. So the heart chakra can be one of the hardest to balance and keep balanced, you know. So, um, you know, you may want to really check in with your own heart there but i forgot to use ostra at the beginning sorry about that but ostra how is my uh solar plexus chakra i forgot to do it beforehand but it looks like hey yay yay um that is just something that i like to do in ostra she really likes to help me with my own chakras, you know, and also when I'm doing Reiki for others, you know, she, she mostly likes doing that. Uh, she will answer questions if I, you know, I always ask her beforehand if she would like to and, you know, if she does, she does and if she doesn't, she doesn't, you know, no forcing her. <laughs> All right, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment and let me know. I absolutely love 
uh, doing videos like this and helping people learn about their chakras and balancing and um, I do offer Reiki sessions. I do have my master certification with Reiki. Um, so if that is something that you are interested in, please shoot me a message, you guys. Email me. I will send you information on cost and all of that. And um, yes, leave a comment. I do take the time to go through all of the comments and respond and answer any questions that there may be. If you have any further tips on the solar plexus that you would like to share, please do. I love learning from you guys. I learn just as much from you as you do from me. And if you did enjoy this, please smash the heck out of that like button, that old thumbs up button, you know, give the old razzle dazzle pizzazzle there. And um, if you feel led to, please subscribe. I would absolutely love and appreciate that so very much. I love seeing growth. I love seeing expansion. And I love being able to interact with you guys. It really does bring a lot of joy into my life. Um, you guys are a blessing for me and I want to be a blessing for you in return. And if you do decide to subscribe, make sure you tap that bell icon so you get the ding ding when I upload new content. And please share because that does help me grow. That does help me get out there. You guys are so wonderful and so amazing and I love each and every single one of you. And from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you, blessed be, namaste, and goodbye.